My name is Kianti Ashe, and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for our Divine Feminines. All right, so all of our DF, Empress, High Priestess, Energy only. If you in any way at all identify as a Divine Masculine, hunty, you can go ahead and get that because this reading right now is not for you, okay? This reading right now is not for you, sir. Let us go ahead, you all, get into this reading. Let us see what the messages are this spirit has here for Jewel on today. Thank you, spirit. Let us go ahead, y'all. Get into it. Because there ain't nothing to it but to do it. Let us see. Hmm. I feel like I want to start with this deck. Okay. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. Okay. What's going on here, spirit? Appreciate. Your twin appreciates you. See the blessings, okay? Practice appreciation, destruction, tower moments, okay? A lot of shifts and changes going on here with you and your person. Unexpected shifts and changes for someone because it seems like you're expecting it, okay? So, uh-oh. Feminine, you may have been aware of something all along and now your masculine is ascending they are leveling up they are expanding and tapping into that universal intelligence okay staying tapped into spirit all right y'all let us see we got potential mm. someone is starting to realize okay that with appreciating their twin with seeing this connection as the blessing it is tapping into the energy the potential is limitless there isn't really a such thing as an obstacle that's what this person is realizing okay this feels really good mm, yeah sacred journey what's this material world yeah memories someone could be thinking back to how oh yeah mm. Your person at one point in time in the past could have been in split energy between going down the sacred journey path and going down the path of the material world. Now, the reality of the situation, like I always tell you guys, especially because I'm an earth sign, I just feels like this is just what it is. You know, I just feel like this is just what it is. We're in this world, right? So we have to maintain our stability. That's just first and foremost. So this person could have went that direction and now they're catching up to you with the sacred journey part you know what i mean so they're discovering their true worth they're discovering their true value here okay that's what that feels like to me okay instead of living in regret choosing to handle the situation and the relationship differently yeah okay it says, see through your own false beliefs. So this person is realizing in what way maybe they were pushing something away or weren't necessarily paying attention to something from the other person's point of view, AKA your point of view. And this is what was keeping them stuck at a crossroad. So now this person is making a decision to follow their intuition. Okay. Let us see if our feminine we have community here. Okay, so this person is hmm. I don't want to say abruptly walking away from certain people and things, but they're realizing what caused them to go into separation with their feminine. Okay, so let's pull more. Let us see. Interesting reading. Second chance, addiction. Someone could have struggled with addictions. Okay. Vulnerability. They appreciate the fact that they can be completely open with you. They can be themselves. We have friendship here. They're realizing that there's potential beyond that friendship. This friendship is leading to more. Okay, let us see. Children. Children are important to this partnership. 
Okay. Release. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. Perspective. See through your own false beliefs. Acceptance. Sacred journey material world. Okay. Past life love. Your soul remembers this intense connection. They're starting to remember. Okay. Clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. Okay. Lean on your inner circle during this time. This may be something that they're aiming to do, like lean on their friends and family and different things like that, okay? As opposed to coming to you, but they'll realize through doing that, that, okay, wait a minute. No, because I can be completely open with my twin. And perhaps they don't feel that way with others, because right here it says the timing is not quite right. I feel like they're going to see something here. Let's see. Yeah, see? Acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. So again, radical acceptance. Like I said, I'm not going to say an abrupt ending, but I feel like they're releasing things. They're letting things go in order to ascend. Okay, what's the underlying energy? Yeah, wait. And then it's something here. Interference and regret. Oof. Now, regret was there, but I tried not to put that energy on them because, you know, we don't want them to stay in that energy of regret. It's like, okay, you know, you ran from this blessing. You feel away. You know, you were afraid. Okay, we get it, right? We don't want you to stay in regret. But the fact that it keeps coming up... Okay, so let us see. We got the Knight of Cups here and the Strength card. Somebody is deciding to make empowered choices. Three of Pentacles is cooperation, teamwork, working together. Okay, being on the same page. Some of you may feel a little confused and uncertain right now when it comes to your person. You know they make you happy. That's great, but it takes more than that. What about, you know, this Two of Swords energy, which is being impartial. Having passion, passion is great, you know. Page of Cups, reconciliation, apology, Queen of Wands, attraction, the Empress. They're forever attracted to their divine feminine. They feel like it's fate, it's destined. Spirit keeps guiding them towards you, but they have to make something right or they're paying some sort of karmic debt here and that keeps coming up as well. All right, so let us see. Hmm. Okay, Seven of Wands and the Seven of Cups. Mm. So when this person decides to come out of their mind and start standing up and fighting for the connection, you're going to be really confused because once upon a time, again, this person was in the two of swords energy, unawakened, unsure, you know, mm. hmm. I feel like in the event that someone is just not ready you cannot force them to be ready because the three of cups and the six of cups, again, children are important to this relationship. That's what it said. Then the three of cups, we already know what that can be. All right. So even though this person may want to reconcile, they may want to do this and they may want to do that again, you know, they have to follow their intuitive guidance. You can't make that decision for them. King and queen of pentacles, you know, they have to make that decision for themselves. So let us see. We have friendship here. Okay. Mm hmm. Yeah, the magician and the lovers. Someone is like, yeah, you're my friend. For now. This person feels like you're their divine feminine. So, again, they don't feel quite ready for this past life love. Okay. they like, okay, this is a past life love, yes. But I, I don't feel quite ready yet. Okay. There's still some things that I'm not quite sure of or aware of or what have you because this unawakened card okay we have the lovers here we have stars so i know you're my divine feminine i know this is fate or destined i know there's something about being written in the stars i get that part you know but what else okay so the seven of cups could also be that they want to stand up and fight for this connection but what exactly am i standing up and fighting for you know so hmm king of cups this is somebody who doesn't necessarily show their heart or give their heart to everybody. I was going to say that because that big old heart there with that tree, very stable. They did show up as a king of pentacles as well. So very stable. They, they have their place in the material world. And they're also pretty in tune with spirit for the most part. But when it comes to this twin flame thing, that may be still new to them and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. 
So they may be working through the kings. Oh yeah, look, King of Pentacles right here. Okay, Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Ace of Wands. So they know that they have this passion. They know that they feel this like uh, desire that doesn't ever seem to fade here. Okay, Ten Ten on a timestamp. However, Ten of Wands, the situation just seems difficult sometimes. Okay, like they uh, don't see how something is going to work. But again, with that camera, the person was holding it from this way, where they were only looking at it from this point of view. So spirit is like, pause, you know, lean on your inner circle during this time, you know, get the advice or the support or what have you that you feel like you need. King of Pentacles, King of Cups. Okay, Two of Pentacles, balancing something out. Once you balance something out, judgment card you'll have better discernment of what it is that you want to do ace of pentacles which is my engagement ring king of swords which is the truth person has accepted the truth about something okay with the nine of wands it could be as to why you have a guard up with this person you have some sort of boundary up with them okay and they could have been trying to figure out why that is exactly because again they don't want you out of their life completely right they're just not fully awakened as to what this connection is so with the five of wands here you know they, they're not really about conflict and drama and all of that stuff. So in the event that you're single and you're, you know, your options are open or you're dating or you're with someone or anything like that, this person is observing and they may be curious, but again, don't quite feel ready, you know, and they may be doing whatever it is that they're doing because in all of these cards with the Kings, there's someone in it, you know, King of Cups has somebody in that picture. The King of Pentacles has somebody in that picture, and so does the King of Swords. Only difference is King of Swords has this person over here peeking in. So there's this this truth that this person has to accept. They have to find some sort of balance within themselves, some sort of peace. Yes, Four of Swords. And once they do, Wheel of Fortune, the situation can move forward, and they'll know what they want. Okay, because right now Four of Cups is discontent energy, not necessarily knowing. You know, Spirit is offering you something, but if you're not aware that it's being offered to you. What are you going to do about it? So then we have four of wands, okay? This is divine union being offered to this person. They don't recognize it. Eight of cups, you emotionally withdraw. So again, they're starting to wake up to the truth, but starting to wake up to the truth and being ready to hop, skip, and jump into union are two different things, okay? So let us see. Yeah, we have the hangman, okay, being stuck, and the knight of wands. So until they take action and it's no longer, oh, I'm stuck, and nine of swords being in their mind about it which is anxiety and fear okay seven of pentacles investing into oneself knowing what you want to invest into okay who what all that nine of pentacles okay is um, being independent okay or single death card rebirth or ending of something or to have a brand new beginning in the tower so again the destruction okay sudden changes and shifts you're going to start noticing six of pentacles this person starts putting in a lot more effort and energy into the connection because Queen of Cups, they would like to win your affection, earn your trust back and different things like that. So notice in all those cards, it's like they had to be the savior and they had to go out and save these women and da, da, da. But with you, they come to you and they, they get the nurturing, they get the love and you're not looking to be saved. You know what I mean? You don't, you don't need that. You just want the love. Yeah. So the world here, okay? This person feel like you're their whole world and that came out earlier as well. We have the Ace of Cups, okay? So... <clears throat> brand new love offer or renewal of the love okay the two of you tapping back into that energy let's see all right we got the nine of pentacles yeah okay so once somebody accepts something the masculine the emperor um and they go ahead and end whatever they need to end or they evolve they awaken to the truth they you know commune with spirit or whatever is necessary then they can move forward okay ace of cups the chariot yeah literally move forward all right five of pentacles is them blocking things out the judgment card using their discernment knowing what it is they want to do also something about the registering of fate forever keeping you guys connected three of pentacles commitment dedication passion person understands that they betray you when they went in the opposite direction or they went in a different direction okay but again this person just wants to move things forward with their empress and it's something here that's sticking his head up so i want to see yeah low vibrational energies are what i most resonated with at the time you were too different yet my perfect match okay so you weren't what they were used to at all okay 
which could have caused them to say, eh, two of swords. I don't really know how I feel about this. I think I do, but I'm not sure. Okay. Now they want to like spin a block and you're looking like, huh? But because you know who the person is, okay, here you are watching these readings and, you know, getting your own personals and all that to figure out what to do on your journey as well, okay? So it's like the two of you are clearly right where you need to be. Everything is as it should be. Continue to focus on yourself. Do your self-care, all that. They are doing the same, okay? Um, and yeah, just trust spirit, right? Simple as that. So it says, any and everyone else from my past, I am over. But you, there's absolutely no getting over you. I've tried. I've failed, okay? It has not worked, hunting. <laughs> the more you love on yourself, the more I fall in love with you. You see? Okay? So my karmic cycle has taught me a lot about myself. Once I complete my lesson, I am coming home. Okay? And that's the world card energy that we keep seeing here. Once they complete their lesson, Ace of Cups, they are coming home. The chariot. Okay? Five of Pentacles, they're going to block out any and all things that have ever prevented them from being able to come into union with you. Okay? As far as they are concerned, that is no longer an option, okay? They do not want to be separated from their divine feminine anymore when they know what this love is, you know? So we have angel number 111, positive vibes only. And that's so funny because I did a divine masculine reading earlier, which I'm going to premiere tomorrow, all right? I did a divine masculine reading um, earlier and 111 was highlighted in their reading. Okay, OD. So they're being guided to focus um, on the positive things only. And in the event they have a negative thought or negative emotion, have three positive ones, you know, to transmute the energy. So we have, let's take our time and get to know one another better. Aww. Yeah. Okay. Love of my life. You are that. Oh. I am grateful to have found you. And notice the arrow is going over there. So it's like, love of my life, you are that. I'm grateful to have found you. <laughs> Hugs and kisses. You are the love of my life. All right. You are resilient and I admire your strength. Aww. Anything you need, whatever you want. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Okay. Our love will forever remain as you are my dearest friend. Remember I said this friendship is leading to more. Okay. So fulfillment, risk, achievement, your potential is limitless, okay? So even if this were to be like 99 years from now, which, you know, prayerfully, it's not. <laughs> but even if it were to be like 99 years from now, when you and this person are ready, it's going to be the perfect timing, okay? So don't worry about that. Earlier, we saw the memories card, okay? It says, let's make new memories together. This person wants to make new memories. They want to have a good time with the person that they love or should i say good times let the good times roll right yeah let the good times roll okay putting on a front for others has failed they all know the truth i'm gonna guess that's the inner circle that they're leaning on for support okay angel number 12 12 one step slash day at a time you've got this okay you are a star never dim your lights okay let us see our relationship is beautiful. I admire our connection. And sometimes when I go to express my feelings, I freeze and shut down instead. Bear with me. Aw, send them healing vibes, y'all. Did I make you fall in love again or nah? Okay, hugs and kisses. So again, this person seems to be really affectionate. That makes sense because the first king that they showed up as, like that came out, was the king of cups. Okay, so very affectionate, very loving. This is someone that... They have a huge heart, but they keep it to themselves. Just like the King of Cups, very affectionate. They take care of the people around them. Like, look at this King of Cups card. This person has, you know, whatever it is that she wants here that is great. You know, it's nothing for him to do. But he just, he keeps his cup with him, his heart with him. Okay, so this person wants to give their heart to you. That's what I'm getting. All right, so if this was your reading or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and hair grease.